Hello again, everybody. Jim Hickey at Bass Fishing Tips on Twitter. Uh, back to you with hopefully what is another helpful video. But this time, it's not really going to have anything to do with fishing lures or bass fishing or anything along those lines. It's going to have something to do with Twitter itself. Um, historically, for the past several years, since you've every time you log on to your Twitter account, go to your profile page, here's what the profile page has looked like. And basically, within the header area which is here you have the header background image which is this kind of black thing back here in this case the profile image is actually superimposed onto it and this is the old style profile page uh, as of the last few weeks or a month or so Twitter has starting to go to a different format for their uh, profile headers or profile pages in general uh, the most obvious thing when you go to that is the is the new header image and let me flick over to my bass fishing tips account here and you can see what I mean you know here's the profile image this is the profile header um, here's a little information about the site and me uh, here's you know their recommendations on who to follow and you know what the trends are and then your your specific Twitter timeline, the things that you tweet, you know, then uh, is shown below it. Okay, so I know I've had a number of my friends on Twitter uh, express interest on in how you actually get into this new format. How do you go and create this? Because this image is no longer the same size as this one. Uh, this was like 1,200 and something by 600 and something uh, pixels this image is 1500 by 500 and they actually tell you that when you when you walk on to the uh, excuse me when you log on to your site and you get to your profile page before you change it all right so if I go over to Twitter and I log on to the site here the one that needs its new profile page I'm doing this for a friend this is their site you can see it hasn't been used in a while um, at any rate here's your home page okay this is the general Twitter feed your you know specific tweets are embedded within this uh, and then it gives you some other information about your stats and uh, the log on and so forth over here um, how do you get to your profile page from this point you just go over here you'll notice that your site name lights up when you put your put the cursor on it if you click on that you come over to the profile page but no longer will it look like this or at least initially it's asking you do you want to see what your new profile will be like if you change over to the new format um, and it actually you know it gives you some helpful hints on how things change here's the profile image that was in the middle of the old image that we saw here okay that's over here on the right tells you what the optimum size for that is 400 by 400 pixels um, it will give you the option to, to change the profile header image here here in a moment uh, once you go through that it'll actually start to point out some things yeah like here's the new profile um, header image it's 1500 by 500 pixels so you got that now it's going to walk you through all the different things that um, this profile now can do you can do some things to actual actually help get yourself heard and so forth and so on but our main goal here is to go in and change the profile image up here um, and this one's fairly straightforward so I'm not going to deal with that today I want to keep this video fairly short it'll probably still be seven eight nine ten minutes by the time we're done because there's several steps we're going to go in and do here we're going to have to uh, take an image that we want to create the header image out of tweak that image, actually extract it to the right size, upload it onto the site, and you'll be ready to go. All right. So since I want to go in and see what this looks like, okay, it says here my new profile is, is live. If I come over to here and I edit the profile, I can go in and I can change the header image. Okay, We're going to come back to that in a moment. I don't have one of the right size that I want at this point in time. You'll notice that this site has something to do with living a green uh, lifestyle. So I'm going to take an, take an image, a larger image, extract the image in the size we want, 1500 by 500 pixels, using another program. And I'll show you that here in a second. That program is available on the web. You can access most of its features for free. The uh, program is called PicMonkey, uh, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com. Just type that into your browser and you'll be ready to go. 
you'll notice that uh, when you take an image and I bring it down to the area, you can do various functions. You can go in and edit that image. You can touch it up. You can design one from scratch. You can create a collage. Um, this might give a hint to a few people on how I do some of the stuff that I do for them. But at any rate, let's go in, take an image that I've pre-selected. I have it up here on my desktop. I'm going to drag it down to the area. Okay, I can drop it into this area. It says drop image to edit. And then PicMonkey will open up, bring that image in, and we're ready to go. It opens up with the basic tools, the basic edits. That's this one here. There's other things you can do, like go in and change the effects, go in and play with it, you know, touch it up. You can add text. You can add overlays, borders, different textures, uh, different themes, etc. We're just going to concentrate on extracting the image that I want from the here in a size that will end up being 1500 by 500 pixels. Okay, So we're going to go in and want to crop that. Now I know this overall image is about 2200 and something pixels wide by several hundred pixels tall. All right. Uh, when you open up the crop feature, you'll see it's actually picked a size for you, um, 1478 by 956. I can go in and change these. We want 1500 in this size by 500 here. And then once you've got the crop area, that's this thing here, we can move it around the, the window and see what we want to extract. Now one thing I notice is that I can't quite get the image that I want, because what I'd like to do is get as many of these turbans in as possible. But I also know that if I increase the size, at least temporarily, I can go in and resize it later, uh, by a set amount, you know, by a certain percentage, both the width and the height, um, that when I go to resize it to 1500 by 500, it'll come out exactly with what I want. Well, what am I talking about here? Well, think about what 10% of 1500 is. It's 150. So if I increase this by 150, 10% of 500 is 50. If I increase this by 50, it's going to make that crop area larger. All right. So I've gone in and done some math, and I know I want to increase this thing by about 40%. Well, 40% happens to be 2100 by 700. And when you see me resize this later, you'll find out that indeed when I go back to 1500, it'll automatically be the right height and we'll be ready to rock and roll at that point. Okay? So now that I have this at the right size that I want, I can move it around to get the image that I want. And what I want to do is get as much of this first turbine as I possibly can. But I want the rest of the turbines in play, and I want these turbines back here. Okay, so I'm going to go in and apply this. That's going to do the crop. Okay, now I can hit the auto adjust button to see if that improves the picture at all, makes it a little darker. Kind of like that, so I'm going to leave that just by hitting the auto adjust feature. The other thing I want you to remember. Now the profile picture is embedded kind of over in this section. So if we look at this image. That will be blocking out these turbines here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and in this case, do another little quick fix, and I'm going to rotate it. I'm just going to flip it horizontally, going from the way it was originally and flipping it horizontally into this configuration. This will put that profile image in here below the, the actual turbines and leave these turbines out here undisturbed. That's just something I wanted to do to make the image a little better. Go in and apply that. We're ready to go. Now, as I promised, uh, we're going to resize this thing in a moment back to the size we need, 1500 by 500. Of course, there's some other things I could do. I could play with the exposure. I could you know, play with the color schemes, do some other enhancement like sharpen and so forth. We're not going to bother with any of those at this point. We just want to get the image we want so we can get it up there and move forward. So we're going to go down here to the resize function. You can see that it's now 2100 by 700. If I change this first one to 1500, have the keep proportions box checked, it automatically changes the height to whatever it'll be in conjunction to the 500, 1500, excuse me, and you'll notice we get the size we want, 1500 by 500. So I was able to get the part of the image I want by increasing, you know, proportionately uh, the image to start to the 21 to 700 and then resize it down to the size we need to actually upload 
into Twitter. Now, you may not have to do that. You may have an image that when you create that 1500 by 500 pixel box, you can get the part of the image that you want to be able to create your header and you won't have to screw with, around with any of this thing. But I'm just telling you what I did in order to get the image that I want in this case. Apply this. I'm all ready to go. And if I then save this, what I'm going to do is put just turbines in here. Okay, save it, and I'm just going to save that to my desktop when it comes up. Okay, as turbines, be a JPEG image, you know, that's fine for web work, so that'll work quite nicely. Save that onto my desktop. When it's done, it basically comes back to the original screen. We're ready to edit things again if we wanted to. So at that point, we've now exported that image in a size of 1500 by 500 to Twitter, excuse me, to my desktop, so we can upload it into Twitter and get this whole process moving forward. All right, so let's flip back here to the uh, Nature's Green Remedy Twitter site where I've gone in to edit the profile. I'm going to add a profile photo, upload a profile photo. It's going to bring up my um, yeah, the load window, which I can then scroll through to find out where that image is. And we know it's called turbans, so it should be down here. Here we go here, it's turbans. Yeah, you might get the impression that my desktop's a mess. It kind of is at the moment. At any rate, go in and select that turbans. That's the wind turbine image that we just created in the appropriate size. Hit open. It uploads it. You can play around by zooming in, zooming out. If you wanted to do that, I'm just going to leave it alone. Hit the apply button. save the changes, and lo and behold, there's our new profile image. So it's a relatively quick process. You know, I went kind of slowly here. This video is going to end up being about 12 to 13 minutes long, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood what I was doing and how to go through the steps, go into PicMonkey, make some you know basic changes to extract that 1500 by 500 pixel uh, sized image so you can go to the new format the new profile format, if you so desire. I'm not even going to screw around with the profile image. It's, it's fine the way it is. You know, when I did this on my site, the bass fishing site, I changed this image here. I didn't change the profile image. That's the profile image that was already there, so it's ready to rock and roll. At any rate, those are the steps involved. I hope you find this helpful. Jim Hickey from at Bass Fishing Tips on Twitter. We'll be back to you again soon. Have a wonderful day.